Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so in our last video we finished off by um, securing the end of the rattan um, in the back of the grip. And then we let it dry. It's been roughly 24 hours and now we're ready to kind of move on and finish this grip off. Um, you can probably see here I've attached a piece of silk. Um, I just used a little drop of super glue right at the base and uh, put the silk in there. I do it right in the little channel. That way it's all lined up for when we start wrapping that silk. Um, but you can do it you know, in a couple different locations. I do leave this tag end on, um, and I'm gonna show you why in just a minute, but it's gonna kinda help keep our bottom look nice, looking nice when we, um, when we go to put varnish over top of this. Um, before we get to the, the silk and the varnish, what I want you to do is just kind of um, turn the grip in your hand and if you see any small kind of like little hair sticking up or little frayed pieces of rattan, just take a, um, a scalpel or a razor blade and, and cut those off. Uh, they're just going to get stuck in the varnish and it can look um, make the, the finished product not look quite as nice. So just give it a little trim up. You might notice um, on this one even, there are a few small gaps and those are caused when the rattan um, shrinks a little bit as it dries out. But that's part of what the silk is gonna do. It's gonna help kind of um, define those lines a little bit um, in a nice uniform way. So if they're not too big, don't worry about it. If they are big, um, then and if they're not covered by silk, you can switch to like size A nylon and uh, that will generally take care of it. So let's start by um, wrapping the silk. Now, the reason I started at the, uh, the little channel here is because it's just gonna, it's gonna lead in really well to the bottom of that. And there's nothing real tricky about this. So what we're gonna do is just wrap that silk. We're gonna rotate it, the grip in our hand, and we're gonna stay right between the two wraps um, as we go up. And what you'll notice is you start to get a nice contrast between that, those um, layers of rattan. This can go pretty quick, and I'm not going to show you the whole thing because uh, there's really nothing that tricky about it. I'll just do a few more. And make sure you stay in there. It constantly wants to like wander on you. But stay in until you get all the way to the very top. And what you'll end up with is a nice um, contrast. Uh, between the rattan that's really defining things. Um, so I'm going to pause here a minute and I'm going to start back once I have this um, the, th the thread wrapped all the way to the top. When you get to the top, you know, you're going to do the same thing. Basically um, put a drop of super glue right in the, uh, the little channel that we cut at the top or however you attach the rattan and, uh, and tie that thread off. So we'll see you in just a minute and we'll go over how to, uh, how to varnish. Okay, um, we're back. I finished wrapping the silk all the way to the top and then I finished it just like I started it. I put a drop of super glue right at the very top and then just um, secured the silk and cut it off that way. So I'm going to hold this up here and see if we can't focus on it. Um, and you can start to see the nice contrast that we're getting in that grip. Um, the, the individual strands of rattan are becoming nicely defined. Um, so now it's time to uh, apply varnish that we're going to protect it. And here's the reason I leave this little like pigtail on the end. Um, I use just a little simple um, jig I made to, to hold this while I varnish it. And I slip it over and you'll notice that little tail keeps the bottom from touching the base. And so when the varnish kind of comes down, um, it's not going to pool at the bottom or end up uh, sticking the, um, the grip to the base. So for finish, I'm going to use spar varnish. Um, I use it full strength. If you want to cut it, um, you know, feel free to, to cut it however thick you want or thin you want. And the only trick I recommend on, um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the top here, is when I get started, for the first coat in particular, I don't brush down on the grip because what can happen is you can dislodge some of that thread. So for the first coat, um, I'll start at the top and I'm going to go um, perpendicular to the grip with my brush strokes. And again, I'm using a pretty thin or a pretty light coat here. We don't need anything too heavy. We want to keep that rattan, uh, keep some feel on that rattan. So we'll just come around. And again, this really only applies to the first coat. Um, if you do a second or even a third coat, if you're using thin varnish, um, then it's a non-issue because everything's um, secure at that point. 
So we just come around, um, making sure that that silk stays where it's supposed to. And you'll notice after the first coat that the grip is taking on a little warmer tone. Um, and with each subsequent coat, the grip's going to become a little more darker, take on a little bit more of the amber color from that um, spar varnish. And just continue down all the way to the bottom and let it dry for a few hours or overnight and then uh, apply a second and if you want a third coat. So I'm going to jump to one that I did the other day that's dry. And you can see how that's taken on. Let's see if we can focus on it. Um, a nice amber tone has a real finished kind of polished look to it, but the varnish isn't so heavy that I can't feel the, uh, the rattan in my hand. So now for the final fitting. Um, I use sandpaper for this. This is 220 and that's kind of how I finish these off with. But if you want to start with maybe 120 or 150 or something, um, to be a little more aggressive. So we noticed the bottom of our grip, we had a little bit of that cork exposed where we tied it off. So what I do, I just hold that grip, put that sandpaper on something flat, and I'll just move it back and forth um, to take off that cork and smooth everything out on the bottom. And then I'll move through the various grades of um, sandpaper until I get a nice, flat, smooth surface um, where there's no cork, cork showing um, on my real seat. And you can see here, we've got the seat on now. There's zero cork showing on the back because we measured that right. And you can do the same for the front if you happen to have a little bit of a rough edge or if one of those pieces kind of slid up on you um, as you started the wrap. Just take some 220 and very lightly sand it. And if you scuff it up a little bit, you can just touch that up with a little spar varnish when it's all done. And, uh, and you should be all set. Um, but that's pretty much it for the video. Um, again, through this whole video, we've used um, the Proof Fly Fishing Rattan Kit. Um, we do sell the individual components as well. So thanks for watching, and, uh, and good luck making rattan grips. Thanks. Bye.